Hi everyone, I'm the Whiskey Enthusiast. Welcome back to my channel. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you, welcome back. And if it's the first time you're watching, I hope you like this review and then maybe I can tempt you to subscribe or at least uh, like this video. That would mean a lot to me. Now, without further ado, let's go what we have for tonight. We have the Blue Label, the Johnny Walker Blue Label. We all know it, we've all seen it. Uh, it might be probably the most famous uh, blended uh, premium whiskey of the most famous blended uh, whiskey brand. Yes, um, where to start? The Blue Label was introduced in 1992. As far as I know, the story goes, and please correct me on this if you know better, more, if you want to add some sp stuff in in the Asian market that uh, it was aimed for that market because people could not buy their bosses uh, gifts they they couldn't give them any money when they were retiring they couldn't give them any uh, clothing or something so they were looking for a, um, a premium gift that the boss could use which is not awkward I don't know why but uh, somehow Johnny Walker saw that and said ah we have the solution the blue label when it was first introduced it had the um, the claim that it had uh, whiskies in it between 15 and 60 years of age now the scotch whiskey association uh, says that you could only put the age that's in the, in the bottle that's the youngest whiskey so when all you see all those you know i don't know legable in 16 black label 12 whatever age that is the age stated whiskies are the youngest there is there might be 50 year old whiskies in there but it has to be the youngest so now it doesn't have any age statement but uh, it commands a hefty price it is the top of the list of premium whiskies it's always there it's always carries a uh, carries a um, an oomph if you buy blue label to someone uh, it's a good gift um, but is it a whiskey drinker's whiskey? Uh, is it good whiskey? Does it, um, does it, oh, it's hefty, hefty. Um, what was I going to say? Sorry. Um, is it worth its price? Is it really that good? Let's hear to find, let's, let's, let's find out. Okay. So it comes in this really nice bottle, uh, a box and it says blue label blended scotch whiskey. And uh, you open it up like this, comes with a uh, blue bottle and uh, comes with a writing here. What does it say? Uh, do, 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 skillfully blended in strictly limited quantity. Well, it's not really. Okay, it's a bunch of gibberish, actually. It's just marketing stuff. So it comes with a Come on. very heavy bottle uh, with a bluish hue. hue and uh, I'll show you. It's not changed much from when it was first introduced. It's pretty cool. It's very heavy because the bottom is uh, full, of, full of glass. Um, it's blended scotch. It's 40% ABV. The bottle has a number IB939565. They're all different. Uh, it's cork and has like a little seal, uh, a wax seal or something like that. It just has the striding man and uh, established 1820 um yeah so i poured this already because i think it needs to air a bit it's a good gift it really is i think i tapped the market with a big box there you go that's better cool bottle uh, with this like yeah it has details on it now apparently one in every ten thousand casks are fit enough to go into a blue label what does that mean i don't know diageo has a lot of casks so it's just saying that they spend a lot of time picking this blend and uh, you know making it good. It has whiskey from uh, closed distilleries. They recently uh, released the Ghost and Rare versions, which is like they have all the closest whiskeys, closed whiskey distilleries. Uh, there's more of them in those Ghost and Rares, but they don't give you the percentage. It's the Azure. You're not going to get much information. So. This is the standard version at 40% ABV. I think there's a cast strength. Well, I know there's a cast strength version. I've not seen it. I would like to try that one. Uh, it's expensive. It's cool. 
it's enigmatic. It's uh, it's very popular. It's known. So let's see if it's good. All right. On the nose, it's malty, honey, pear, apple, nutty nuts, roasted nuts. Hint of a smoke coming in the background. That classic Johnny Walker character is there. Sweet. It's balanced. It's very fresh. It's a good nose. It's a very balanced nose. Nothing, nothing dominates. Nothing comes uh, too forward. A wood. Oak spice is there. It's not. Uh, it's not very hot. So it's forty percent ABV, but it's not very hot. It feels old. I don't know if it's the marketing thing, but it doesn't feel young. I suppose if it did, then you know they would be in trouble. Let's do this. I'm curious. For those of you who don't know, this is another technique where you. Wet your palm a little bit and then you rub it till it's dry. Ah, more wood, tobacco paper, but um, cigar paper, like real tobacco paper. Roasted nuts, hazelnut, walnut, 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 freshly cracked walnut. Okay. Very good nose, very good nose. Let's go on to the palate. Right. It's not a bad whiskey. It's a very good whiskey. Um, the palate is so soft, so drinkable. So much vanilla, honey, fruit, oak spice, wrapped in oak spice, wrapped in tobacco paper, malty, although it's a blended whiskey, so there's a high percentage of malt, uh, chocolatey, very sweet, but smoky, oak spice is there. It's so well-rounded, so balanced. Nothing sticks out. Everything is there. It's neat, nice mouthfeel. It doesn't feel light. Uh, it doesn't feel uh, weak. It, the alcohol is not there at all. And uh, even though it feels creamy and oily. And the finish is medium to long. Very malty, very chocolatey little bit of a raisin note the roasted nuts are there on the on the finish as well it's nice it's good and uh you can continue drinking this very easily all night long and go back to the go back to the nose now you get fresh fruit but uh, fresh zesty fruit like uh, green apples a uh, little bit of a juicy pear the quince bitterness is there with sweet honey and now milk chocolate. There's nothing to not like there. It's a beautiful whiskey. It's very well made. So you can't short them and you can't say like i've not done a good job no they've done a fantastic job it's a really really good whiskey does it command its price is it worth it with no eight statements uh with just this cool box and bottle and it being a nice whiskey that's up to you that's up to you you if you know some people really like this and uh, some people like what it represents it's a premium 
bottle. It's a premium uh, product. So, you know, it stands on its own. It has a character on its own. I'm glad the whiskey is good. If it was bad, then I would have like slammed them. So the price thing is up to you. If you can afford it, if you really like it, then yeah, then it's worth it because it's not a bad whiskey. It's a really, really good whiskey. So considering that, I'm going to recommend this to Glencairns, but not because of the taste. The taste is fantastic. You'll like it. It's not the most complex whiskey in the world, but it's really well made. If you want to try a really balanced, well-made whiskey, this is a good one. So try it. Try it. See what you think about it. And if you can justify its price, then buy it. Because that's what kind of have to, we have to do with every whiskey anyway. But more with these kinds, you know, uh, yeah, basically more with these kinds. I mean, it's it's competitor, uh, the direct competitor, Chivas Regal, with the uh, 21. That's, you know, the royal salute. But uh, Johnny Walker also has a 21-year-old whiskey. And that's even more expensive than this one. So Blue Label is kind of on its own. And is it doing what it's doing well? Yeah, it's a good whiskey. It feels velvety smooth. It feels good. It feels rich. It feels well-made. It feels sophisticated. It does. And it achieves what it's trying to do. And the pricing is completely up to you. Um, that's it from me, guys. Thanks a lot. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this. And uh, if you have, please hit that like button. And uh, here's a cheers to my uh, very, very, very good friend who got me this bottle. And uh, who he knows who he is. Um, cheers to you, my friend. Thanks to you. I can drink these uh, beautiful, very expensive bottles. And here's to friendship and here's to good whiskey. Cheers, guys.